call the member for Fremantle. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. Standing here on the land of the Ngunnawal and Ngambri people as a representative of an electorate that is part of the land of the Wajuk people of the Noongar Nation, I'm glad that today marks the beginning of NAIDOC week. And I pay my respects to the elders past and present of all First Nations people of Australia and the current and emerging First Nations leaders, especially in my community. I love the power and the clarity of the theme of this week's uh, this year's NAIDOC week always was, always will be. In the words of the Little Red Yellow Black Book, which I recommend to everyone, NAIDOC week is about every Australian celebrating the first Australians, the oldest surviving culture in the world. I know in my community, in Wallyalup and Beeliar, or Fremantle and Coburn, the week will feature a range of events, including a Noongar language singing workshop, the Noongar Olympics, and an author event featuring Stephen Kinane, whose award-winning book Shadow Lines is the story of his maternal grandparents, the Mirrawong woman, Jesse Argyle and the Englishman Edward Smith. Uh, Deputy Speaker, in addition to celebration, this week is an opportunity to focus on how much further we can go, how much further we should and we must go, walking together on the path of reconciliation and respect, the path to full and equal social and economic inclusion in the life of this country for First Nations people. That's why Labor continues to honour the process that occurred in 2017, the Uluru Statement from the Heart and its commitment to achieving voice, treaty and truth.